DBS users have been asking for a way to link their terms and conditions to the end of their quotes so that when they send out an email to the customer with the quote they don't need a second attachment for the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions and the quote will be on the one document now. Uh, this can be done in a few simple steps. What I have here is the terms and conditions open in a Word document. We have to convert this to a JPEG. Uh, Windows offers you that functionality by going to All Programs and then Accessories and there's a, a product called Snipping Tool here. This allows you then to highlight the area that you want created to a JPEG and that's it there now and I can go File, Save As. This next bit's important. We want to save it into the templates folder that DBS has and it must be called Terms and Conditions. That's what the DBS program is going to look for and save it. So now we've saved into that folder this Terms and Conditions document. When we go to DBS now and we go to a quote and we print out the most popular quote style, that's the itemized quote. It now prints out looking like that and on the last page we now have the terms and conditions. So that's now all in the one document and if you mail recipient, send it off as a PDF and we open that up and we look down through this we see the last page, uh, the page of terms and conditions. It's as simple as that. So now you can link your terms and conditions to the end of your quote, but it must be done as a JPEG and it must be saved into the terms and conditions folder. If you have any doubts as to where that terms and conditions folder is, you must go to your master files, look up the file paths and see where your DBS template folder is and that's where you save your terms and conditions. Thank you very much.